Anyway, we're not going to talk about me, <laughs> not today. Yeah. We are here to, to learn the story of Kfaf Hasidim, this village. It has a very, very unique story. And uh, to hear maybe a little about olive oil, that's what I do. I grow 1,700 olive trees, oh. five kinds. You know that there are at least, at least 140 kinds of olive trees. Oh, okay, yeah. so I have five kinds, and one of them you probably heard of. You heard of the Kalamata, so Kalamata. He created a mask of this Nazi's officer from his memory. And he made the mask from bread, sand, and oil. Think about it. To steal oil from the Nazi's car, to take a bread, not to eat everything, and to work at night that nobody would see him. And to make everything from his memory. Even the Jew that was with him in the camp of Dachau, they didn't know that he want to escape because his wish is to come, to escape, and to memory the Holocaust. So it took him a couple of months to make the perfect mask. He still has S uniform from the laundry of the Nazi that he was walked there. He dressed like a German officer, he put the mask on himself, and he walked out from the front door of that house. He made it so perfect that when he escaped out, the Nazi saluted him. And the story when he came to Israel, the state of Israel gave him a lot of space in the north of Israel, and a city that the name of the city is Carmiel, and he chose to make the story of his life in Carmiel 
because Carmiel was built by Jewish Holocaust survivors. So on the top of the mountain of Israel, of the north of Israel, he made this sculpture. This one called Atikva. Atikva, that's the national anthem of Israel, that the composer of this Atikva was his uncle, Naftali Yatzinda. This sculpture represents an Israeli young mother after the Holocaust. She lived in the kibbutz. She's a pioneer woman. You can see how she dressed with the shirts and the sandals, with the ponytail, holding the new future of the state of Israel. And this sculpture was chosen by the state of Israel to be one of the symbols of the peace. So when Israel made the agreement of the peace with Egypt, the state of Israel chose that this one would be the symbol of the peace. So they give it like a official gift to the three presidents that was involved in the peace process, like Begin, Sadat, and Jimmy Carter. sing with words, this is what the rabbi explained, then your heart goes after the words that you say. But if you sing without words, then the heart can go wherever the heart wants to go. Kabbalah teaches that the universe was created as a combination of both spiritual and physical worlds. So that mankind could learn the deeper wisdom of the creation, it was created as a marvelous combination of soul and body. But Kabbalah is a Hebrew word. Kabbalah is a Hebrew word which means to receive. To what? To receive. receive. Receiving, reception. What is the reason, what's the background to the giving of this name to the ancient wisdom of thousands of years, part of the oral Torah given at Mount Sinai 3,331 years ago, together with the five books of Moses, the Ten Commandments, came an oral Torah, an oral tradition which explained it. He is, I don't want to say nominee, candidate to receive a Nobel Prize for Peace for this year, or 2019. Bravo. Yes. Bravo. What, what did he do wrong? <laughs> he works here, Dr. Rosen will work here at the Tzfat Hospital. And there's a hospital in Tzfat called the Ziv Hospital. Ziv, by the way, is a Hebrew word, it also means the irradiance of light. Light. And you know where we're located? Right behind this hilltop is the Lebanese border. 45 minutes to drive this way is the Syrian border. You know, Syria is a very friendly country, right? Very peaceful, very calm. Oh, yeah. uh, we have treated in my hospital about 1,500 uh, people, including children, women. But these people, they ask for for help at the at the frontier, at the border, and the, um, the FDI, they get...
Bread, right? Okay, it looks like this. It's called the khul. It's made out of exclusively flour and yeast, a few other secret ingredients. No egg, no milk. We add these three spot cheeses, okay? Goat, pecorino sheep, and a uh, cow, regular, just regular cheese. Uh, this is arugula and tomato we put on. We add zata, which is a beautiful biblical spice, uh, local made olive oil, and then we give it to you. I shall do when you are all of you nice like this woman something like I want to make a gift so who will take it? <laughs> South Carolina in states you have a lot big plantation now South Carolina but uh, to survive South Carolina is very difficult because the hurricanes over there they devised everything here we go who's the last thank you Thank you. 